So I've kind of already gone through this. When I tell people that I'm doing insertables, I get this reaction. <laughs> and I explain that it's devices that go voluntarily through the skin, um, in through or underneath the skin. And the reason I have that caveat of through is because if I put some sensors on my piercings, they're not really wearables because they go through my body. Um, so they're insertable. And we've seen um, this transition with medical devices going from luggable, so this is the first pacemaker. Obviously, part of it goes into the body, um, but it's a very large device bought to the patient. Then with battery improvements, it became wearable. You wear the battery on a belt, you can kind of live a normal-ish life. And now they're fully implantable, um, battery and all. Pretty routine, oh. Pretty routine surgery. Um, and it's your keyboard, I swear. <laughs> um, and you see this in a variety of um, devices. So when we get to things like hearing aids and vision aids, uh, it starts to become voluntary. So you can choose to have glasses or to, and I'm gonna say insert contact lenses because it goes under your eyelid. Um, or, uh, and, and indeed there is a large movement in the deaf community to remain electively deaf. So you can get a hearing aid or a cochlear implant or nothing. Luggable, insertable. <laughs> um, wearable on, on cats and dogs, their identification tag, insertable in the form of ID microchips. <sighs> uh, and there's a, a plethora of different forms um, for women to choose for contraceptives so you don't end up in that midwifery situation if you don't want to. Um, wearable, swallowable, injectable, insertable, whatever you want. Uh, same with menstrual aids. I gave this talk last night to a room full of seven-year-olds. <laughs> it was super fun, uh, especially when I came up to the next bit. Incontinence aids, wearable or insertable. So these are all objects. These aren't digital things. Um, and wearable and insertable forms can exist together. But there are digital things happening. So this is microchips, an RFID microchip in development by MIT with seed funding from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. And the idea is that it lasts a lot longer than a normal IUD or implantable contraceptive and that it can be turned on and off. So instead of having to get it in and out, um, you just get it in once, turn it off if you want some babies, turn it back on when you don't want babies um, and only have to get it once in your life. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know what you said. Um, this is the Loon Cup Smart Menstrual Cup. So it lets you know when it's full and needs to be changed. Um, so this is proof that Bluetooth can travel through the uterus, I guess. Um, and this is a, another real product. This is Baby Pod. You can play some music for your unborn baby. <laughs> but it's not all vaginas. Internet of Things rectal thermometer. Why does it have a cable? <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> Someone has experience. Um, <laughs> so what are, in people, what are people inserting in their bodies for non-medical purposes? It was mainly RFID microchips um, and NFC microchips are about the size of a grain of rice inserted with a large gauge needle, the same one used for body piercings. Put them in their hands. And it's all about UX and delight and convenience. So when you leave a room, you do a th three tap check for your phone wallet keys. Has anyone here ever forgotten their work pass? Yeah. Forgotten your Mikey. Credit card? What do you do? Wash dishes for pay for your stuff? <laughs> Locked your keys inside your car and had to get it out with a, uh, a coat hanger. Got unlocked outside of your house. In a 90. No, just me and Susan Myers. <laughs> so what these people are doing, this is ah, uh, putting tiny microchips in their hands so they can never forget their keys. They've essentially done the luggable. <laughs> He's very happy about himself. <laughs> I do that every time I walk through a door. I'm just super smug about it. <laughs> Um, so we've, they've done this luggable, wearable to insertable transition. Uh, and as one of my participants says, I'm super duper thankful that I went through this small amount of pain for the guarantee 
that I would always have my key with me as long as I haven't forgotten my hand, which for the record, I've never ever done. Um, instead of having to go all the way back home, um, if you forget your key. So it's a small pinch, like a piercing, to have this guarantee. You can also share small amounts of information from it. Um, so this gentleman is going to scan his chip with, I think that's a Windows phone. <laughs> but whatever. Um, <laughs> and it's asked if it wants to share the information, add the contact detail to your phone. Um, people are using this to store stuff for themselves as well to save time. Um, so there's one participant who put his GPS coordinates in it. So he scans his hand with his phone, uh, makes everything easier. He doesn't have to interact with the interface, scans it, and he's on his way. Um, so these users claim to be more satisfied. They don't have to worry about devices. They don't have to worry about remembering, well, they do, their phones and everything else, but they've taken one thing off the thinking list. Of course, this is not for everyone. Um, so you can still use your wearable counterparts or there's also some, um, some glue-on nails if you'd like to rock them, um, which have their RFID <laughs> sensors in them. Um, and this is someone using it for her Oyster card, I think that is. So I know there's not time for questions, but I know what you're gonna ask. Does it hurt? Not really. Can the government track me? Well, yes, <laughs> apparently. Not from this though. Do you have one? Yes, I do. I have two actually now. After researching it for a year and a bit, I decided to get one. Can you feel it? I'm not really aware of it um, once it healed. May you feel it? Depends. I make that decision on a case-by-case -case basis. <laughs> and this one I get a lot. What if someone cuts off your hand? Well, it's a lot easier to just break down my door than to physically maim me because you happen to know that I have a chip inside my hand. So I'm feeling pretty confident. Um, if you want to learn more about this technology, come to my talk. Um, thank you.